Good to see you guys again. It's what been a while. What time yeah. is it, Tarek? Because life is good. Look yep. at that watch on. Building him. an oh, empire over here. Good. Flipping Lock. some good old houses. Well, well, watches time. are for jewelry, not for telling time, okay? <laughs> Apparently. You, I don't know how you could ever see what time it was with the glare in that thing. I, I gotta get fancy every now and then, you know. <laughs> You've seen how I dress on the show. I'm just kidding. I've actually upped my wardrobe. Oh, you have. A lot. Look at this. You have. I'm, no, no a sandals, suede boot. no cargo shorts. We're good. <laughs> uh, so the new show, are we gonna see your new lady on the new show? You know what? You are. So Heather A. Young actually did a cameo in one of the episodes. So you're going to see her and I filming together. She's actually here right now backstage. And I'm super excited about it. We're what, eight months in? We are officially eight you months in. You told Scott and me. Do you remember that day? You hadn't even talked about it yet. I know. When, when I met you, when we first got together last time and I yeah. talked about our relationship, we had just been dating two weeks. Yeah. Like, we didn't really even know each other yet, but we were so in love. And now we're like eight months later. Yeah. We've traveled the world together. We've been to Paris, we've been to Amsterdam, we've been to Vegas, we've been to Napa. Like, we've done it all. Good for you, brother. Thank and you. how are the, your daughters liking her? How are your kids liking oh, her? Oh, my kids adore Heather. You know, it's like. It's just such a nice feeling as a dad to have a family again, and the kids love her, and she loves them, and it's what I've always dreamed guy. of, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's like we're a cute little family, you know? <laughs> I love it. Uh, speaking of the new show, you're, you're literally jumping in, helping people hopefully avoid some of those big mistakes with their first flip. What would you say is, hands down, the most common thing you see with first-time flippers? Ooh, two things. One, they pay too much for the house. Just because the house is junky doesn't make it a good deal. Mm. You have to pay the right price. And two, they don't understand the importance of your timeline. Construction, if it takes too long or if you have a bad crew, you can lose a lot of money in carrying costs. So those two things cause a lot of people to like, honestly go bankrupt. I think watching your show, a lot of people think it looks easy, mm -hmm. right, through the magic of a TV. And you've mm -hmm. got a great crew you work with. But early on, what were your biggest mistakes? Oh, my gosh. I don't know if you've ever seen Flipping uh, uh, Flipper oh, Flop yeah. Season 1. <laughs> I honestly learned how to flip houses on TV. I actually pitched getting Flipper Flop before I ever flipped a house. What? What? Yeah, no, not many people know this. I pitched the idea of a house flipping TV show before I ever flipped a house. Okay, let me just tell you something at home. If you're sitting on an idea and you're like, but... Why me? Uh, Do it. Do it. It, it yeah. was like, I'll, ne I'll never forget. Look at this watch. <laughs> he knows what time it is. <laughs> Look at this watch. I can't see. I get the Do lights. It. The lights. It'll be worth it. No, no, no. So it was a crazy idea. And I was like, you know, I'm a guy that if I, if I think, I wa if I want something, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get it. And yeah. I had this crazy idea to get on TV. We just bought our first flip, and I was like, what if we flipped a house on TV? Mm -hmm. So I learned how to flip houses on TV. When you watch the old episodes, you cringe a little bit, or what does that feel oh, like? Oh, I, I cringe. Like, people don't get it back then. They're like, oh, you used to dress like a bum. Like, you wore sandals. <laughs> you never changed. I was like... I was I was literally trying to learn how to fly. I didn't care what I looked totally. like. Right, right, right. I was like, you think I cared about how my makeup looked or my hair looked? No, I was trying not to go broke. Right. We've talked about it before, uh, but you you worked with your ex-wife and mother of your kids, and you said this time around you've learned a lesson that you would maybe not work with your significant other. But she's already made a cameo. Are you sticking to that this time around or what? When did I say that? <laughs> You said you learned the lesson. Uh, you can't listen to everything I say. <laughs> <laughs> Brother. How is it working still with your ex? Uh, you know, we've been working together a very long time, and it's just strictly business. We get there, we do our job, and um, we, we understand the importance of our relationship and how it affects the kids and yeah. how it affects the show. So we show up, we do our job, and we give it everything we have. What As a it? viewer, yeah. it was interesting, because there was a time there that it was a little... As the talent, it was more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever, however bad you think it was, it was a lot worse for I me, okay? I felt for both of you. Yeah, trust me, I felt for me, too. I really did. I felt for both of you, because I felt like, okay, you probably had job obligation, but I mean, that it was hard for you guys to go through it with all of us watching. Yeah, and I honestly, I didn't even watch those two seasons of my show. It was too hard. HGTV was like, no, no, we're no, going to stick going. with this show. We're, we're, we're going to add around. another one. Yeah. yeah. What, what has it been like for you? I think a lot of families are going through this with blended family thing, mm -hmm. right? But also trying to co-parent uh, beyond the marriage. What's that been like for you? You know, I like I. I mean, I've said it so many different times, but as long as you keep the kids as the top priority, yes. every single decision 
is based around what's best for the kids, you can't go wrong, in my opinion. Yeah. So the second me and her start arguing or we start fighting, everything falls apart. So we get along great, we don't argue, we don't fight, and we're always on the same page. Yeah. Here's what I love. Uh, we highlighted your bachelor pad. We love where you were living. How's that going with Heather moving in? Because you had quite the pad going. Look how stunning Scott. Yeah, rest in, rest in is peace. Is she allowed to bring anything in? Oh, did you already move out of that one? Um, no, but we will be soon. We're, we're looking for a new house right now. Really? So buy a bachelor pad. Well, is that right. hard to say goodbye? To? Yeah, is is it, it or is it really easy to say goodbye to? Because you might be getting engaged soon. What? Oh wow! You know you're like the 90th person today to ask me that question. <laughs> I mean, and what? And, and I'll give you the same answer. I'm gonna tell her before I tell you. <laughs> Heather, come on out. Heather, show us the ring. Yeah, right, let's see the ring. Yeah. She's got the ring. No, on. there's no ring. I'm just I can't. I can't. Yes, of course. <laughs> come here, honey. Here we go. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, oh, wow. So, so it's okay. I'm always right. It's hot in here. So yeah, when we when you first you know met us at the beginning, when yeah. we first started dating, it was two weeks in. We didn't even know each other, but we were just all in love. And now yeah. we're like eight months in. We've Still traveled in the world. Still in love. <laughs> That's great. Still in love. That's um, awesome. Tart, great to see you. Nice to meet you. Yes, and congratulations. Too, you guys. I we love can't you. wait right. for the new Get show. Off. Get off my set. <laughs> Scott, we got her. Oh uh, yeah. Be sure to watch Flipping 101 Thursdays on HGTV.